All right, hello everyone. How is everyone doing? Fantastic, Sam Al, uh, Gardan as well, Andrew in the house. Uh, I was gonna do some fun polygon art if you guys are up for it. Uh, again, uh, this is kind of pro quality stuff, I think. It's like kind of a little bit more advanced, just so you know, um, I'm gonna be do using some 3D and um, and using Photoshop, but again, it's as easy as it's going to get for 3D, so I uh, just want to welcome everyone. We're going to dive into this. Thank you, Nate Bartlett. for. Uh... Okay, cool. So let's do this. And let me go ahead and switch over to my screen, and you'll be able to see what I'm working on. I've been working on a couple things, but uh, you can see what I'm making right here. Uh, yeah. Let's bring me back. There I am. Okay, so uh, this is kind of what I'm working on, and this is what I mean when I say like polygon art. These little polygons, right, that are connecting everything. It's like how can you, you know, sort of take a flat image, and uh, before you know it, you know, turn it into something 3D that it's like, you know, she's made up of, um, I don't know just made up of these different planes, right? How do you do that, right? You could use, you know, your lasso tool and go like that. That's gonna take way too long if I do, if I do something like that, right? And then I would uh, had to have, add a mask. It's gonna take forever. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. Um, and let's dive into this. So again, thanks Nate for watching. Can it be animated? Um, I think anything can be animated. Um, but no, not unless it's actual 3D, that's the best way to animate this. Um, and in which case you'd use C4D. But I'm gonna show you the easy way. Again, here's my face. And really what I want is I want a 3D model of a woman's face, right? And where I can get that from is, let me go, oh, there it is. Oh. If you launch Fuse, so you actually have access to Fuse uh, if you're a Creative Cloud member, CC, Adobe Creative Cloud, right down here, you can see Fuse Beta. You can open that up. And this is actually going to give you all the stock characters that you want. Okay, Ivan, hello, my friend. Good to have you here. Uh, so from here, what I can do is I can, um, you know, just click on that head to add it just like that. And this is what Fuse enables me to do, right, is to create characters, right? I can add the torso. In fact, what I can do is I can add all matching parts. So if you want a full body, you can say, hey, add all matching parts. And wait for it, boom, there you have this, this character, right? From there, you can add clothes and all sorts of things like I'm doing right now. So super easy. Uh, what I'm going to be doing, and kind of what I was working on is, I was kind of working on making a Captain Marvel, uh, is a 3D character I'm working on, by the way. Uh, but that's for another day. So I'm going to undo some of this, right? Undo this, get rid of everything except for just her head, as we can see right here. Because all I want is just this head, this 3D model right here, right? That, I just That's all I want, right? So from there, what I can do, let me check on this. So uh, what I can do with this is typically once you build out your character, you can sync to CC libraries. I'm actually just going to export out an OBJ. And really that's the goal. Go grab any OBJ that you want, export it out, right? You can even go to, boop, Right here, I was working on some International Women's Day stuff. 
Uh, Stock.adobe.com is another place where I can get 3D models. So anything that we want to make polygonal, <clears throat> excuse me, I can search in 3D. In fact, if you just hit enter, you'll be able to see all the free items uh, that I could get 3D models from. So again, pro tip, hopefully you knew about this, you just select 3D or templates or whatever, and then you hit enter, and these, let me double check this. Oh, okay, maybe they are not free. Uh, but nonetheless, this is where I can get 3D models. There are some free ones available. Okay, from there, once we downloaded our 3D OBJ file, right? Here it is, here's my OBJ. Guess what, you could bring OBJs right into Photoshop, right? So from here, create a new file and make it match, right? So in fact, I'm gonna hide everything else. Let's still use, this, still use this same woman in a new file, just FYI, and we're gonna match her face. So grabbing this 3D file, I can drop, file, I can drop it on in just like that. Fantastic, Mohammed. Uh, Milan K, thank you so much. You are welcome. You are welcome. There we go. All right. So from there, you could just hit OK. The, the measurements don't matter too much right now. I'll hit OK. And here's my face, right? Or my 3D object. From here, selecting the Move tool, I can start to move this around into place. So that's what I do. Move it over here. You know, make it larger, zoop, just like that. Move it over like this, zip, like that. Shrink it down a little bit more, right? And check this out, you ready? This is where a lot of magic happens. Okay, Nate and Jason and everyone. Uh, is, I'm gonna select right over here, I'm gonna select scene and I'm gonna open up the properties panel. So with scene selected, I can change this to, usually it's set to default, but I can set this to like hidden wireframe if I want. And boom, look at that. There's that wireframe of her face and then I can start to line everything up accordingly. So start to move this into place like that, make it a little larger. Ideally, I'd match the um, camera angle too, but this is the, maybe it's the trickiest part. And all I need to do is get it somewhat close. And we'll get this to work like that. You get the idea. So hopefully that makes sense. Do something like that. Line that up. Okay, so let's just focus on this. Super cool. Now, um, the solar bear, good to have you here. Uh, what I can do is I can just use this as a selection tool. So coming in here, I'm gonna take this transparency down or this opacity, and I'm gonna use the magic wand, and I'm just gonna start selecting by holding down the shift key. Boom, boom, boom. And this is where I get to have some fun, sort of like determining which areas I want to show up, like which areas of her face I want to show up. Okay, so that's what I'm doing right now, is selecting each one just like that. Da, 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 da. You get the idea. Cool, we'll do some larger areas. Right, and then from there, what do I do? Well, I want this selection to be the mask. Oops. All I need to do is go right down here and add it as a, a layer mask right there. Bop. And now I've masked out that part of her face. Cool. Uh, uh, Ivan says the th the 3D in Photoshop is confusing when you start to deal with it. I think it's it's key to understand like what is selected. Okay, so um, once you have this this 3D object layer selected, go to the 3D panel, and this is where it might get a little confusing. It kind of you know your options for your properties panel depend on what's selected. So consider this new this 3D panel right here. This 3D panel is just really your new layers panel. 
So if I want to adjust the scene, well, that's where I would do that. If I want to adjust the environment, if I want to adjust the current view, that's where I do it as well and start to rotate it around. So maybe that helps. I hope so. All right. But again, I'm just using this as a selection tool. By the way, there's some other things we could do as well. Um, we could use C4D, by the way. I just installed it last night. I'm so excited about it. And uh, I can go from there. So again, just selecting these different parts. You get the idea. I can see the parts that aren't selected and start adding to it like I'm doing right now. So hopefully that makes sense to everyone. Um, you're welcome, Ivan. Um, and then, by the way, the move tool gets really complicated too, by the way, if you're doing 3D in Photoshop, it can get complicated. So again, going to this one, what do we do? We just fill it with white like that. And we're slowly starting to fill her in to end up with something like this. Okay, that's all I did right over here. You can see here's the the female head right here. In fact, let's just change this. Let's just zoom in on this. Let's change the size of it actually. Right in here, make this larger. You can see all those little, little um, polygons. Again, just using that to select it. Beneath that, I added a little more, but these are all the polygons that are used to, to select her face, right? To add that sort of effect that I'm looking for. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, by the way, I'm gonna go back to this just so you know. Ooh, that's, this is something else I'm working on. If you wanna get into 3D as well, check this out. Uh, when you use any 3D model, you have access not only to 3D coordinates, right? We can start to move this around. Let me turn off some of these other layers. I can move this object around, but you can map content onto that object as well. And that's all that is, is just a texture. It's just a material. All right, so. Uh, check that out. That's super cool. What did I do? Well, I selected the head. Like I said before, 3D, it matters what layer you have selected. So in this case, I want to change the material for the face. So with that selected, I can go into the properties panel and we can see how the properties panel has changed. So material and then properties panel gives me those material coordinates and uh, information. So I can go to edit texture. And there it is. In fact, you can see what I did with it. This is how it looks like. This is what it looks like originally. Here's the face. What did I do? I put some text on top, right? I could save that and I can show you what that looks like. There it is. And then I also went in. And that's not bad, but I'm, I'm not crazy about the look of 3D in general. So I said, okay, well, let's make that. Do I make that black? Was just one thought. I don't know. I'm still working on it. That's a little bit of 3D type on a face. Yeah, exactly. Super easy to do, Andrew. Um, and again, I can rotate this around. Just a matter of what's being selected. Select the camera, and then I can kind of move this around. And then what I can do is I can go back to scene, and I can say, hey, you know what? Make this a... I'm just going to try a couple things. Because I think if, if I change any, this to anything else, it's going to disappear. But let's do hidden unlit texture. There we go. There's unlit texture. Just trying different things here. That's not quite working. <laughs> and there you go. Just different options available to you. But I'll just keep it at this as the the default. And if I select the light, I could obviously adjust the light. If I want something more dramatic, maybe I have it coming from sort of the other direction. If I hold down the what is it the Option key, either way, I just would rotate that around and do something like that as a, just a thought. So anyways, that's what I'm working on. Uh, hopefully you like it. Again, just playing with 3D textures in this case, maybe changing that back to black, getting this back to where I want it to be. And then this is more along the lines of what I'm looking for. 
potentially as a piece, but honestly, probably not going to see the light of day. What will see the light of day is this. So I'm going to send this out or show this off later today, uh, just so you know, uh, after I play with it some more. There we are. Super easy. Now you know. Okay, everyone, uh, that is it for me. I'm going to post this to ooh, boop, Instagram uh, here super soon. So that's the plan. So uh, if you have any further questions, just let me know. Uh, the flower I think I got from Turbo Squid, by the way, and I turned that into what it is right now, and you get the idea. So thanks so much for watching. Thank you so much, Terry White. I'm sorry that is it for me, but Terry, I'm going to post this to uh, Instagram. And uh, that's about it, everyone. Thanks so much for watching me. Everybody have a beautiful day, especially seeing as it's International Women's Day. So should be every day, quite frankly. But thanks so much for hanging out. Uh, Captain Marvel opens tonight as well. So that's all I have for you. Have a beautiful day, and we will talk soon.